Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain a simple node red flow that demonstrates how to work with message properties. We'll go through each node one by one and understand how it works. Let's get started. Section 1. Setting a message property. Here's our first node. This is an inject node. It's the starting point of this part of the flow. When I click this little button here, it sends a timestamp as the message payload. The output of the inject node goes into this change node. This node modifies the message's payload property. Specifically, it sets the payload to say, Hello World. Let me open it up to show you how it's configured. You can see here, it's set to set the message payload to Hello World. Finally, this debug node is connected to the change node. Whatever comes out of the change node will be displayed in the debug pane here on the side. Let me deploy the flow and trigger the inject node to show you. See? It says hello world in the debug pane. That's how you can modify a message property. Section 2. Deleting a message property. Now we move to the next section of the flow, which is about deleting a message property. This comment node gives a little description of what's happening here. Again, we start with an inject node. Like before, it sends a timestamp when triggered. This change node here is configured to delete the payload property from the message. Let me open it up to show you. You can see it's set to delete the message payload. This means the message will no longer have a payload property when it reaches the next node. Finally, this debug node will show us the result. Let me deploy and trigger this flow. As you can see in the debug pane, the message is now empty because we deleted the payload property. Section 3. Moving a message property. In this section, we're moving a message property from one place to another. We start with this inject node, which sends a message with two properties, payload and topic. Let me show you what it looks like. The payload is a timestamp, and the topic is set to Hello. The change node here moves the topic property into the payload. This means whatever is in topic will now be part of payload. Let's take a look at the configuration. Here, it's set to move msg.topic to msg.payload. The debug node at the end will show us the result. Let's deploy and test this. Now in the debug pane, you can see the payload contains hello, which was originally in topic. That's how we can move properties around. Section 4. Mapping a numeric range. The last section is about mapping a numeric range. Here, this inject node sends a numeric value, in this case, 10 inches. The range node here takes the input number and remaps it to a different range. Let me open it up. The input range is set to 0 to 100, and the output range is 0 to 255. So, the value 10 will be converted to the corresponding value in the 0 to 255 range. This is useful for things like scaling sensor data or controlling devices like lights. The debug node shows us the remapped value. Let's deploy and trigger the flow. And there it is! The value 10 was mapped to its new value in the 0 to 255 range. You can customize these ranges to suit your needs. Conclusion That's it for this flow. We've looked at setting, deleting, and moving message properties, as well as mapping numeric ranges. These are fundamental skills in Node-RED and will help you build more complex and powerful flows. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found this explanation of the Node Red Flow helpful and easy to understand. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Also, check out the description below for links to other related videos and resources that will help you dive deeper into Node Red and create even more powerful flows. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding and take care.